Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. So I got up this morning and looked outside and it was snowing a little bit. It looked nice. Temperature wise, it's only about zero degrees, minus one. And I thought, you know what? Today is a great day to get out with the Super Baja Raid 2.0. I've been kind of going through withdrawals. I haven't driven that truck in a few weeks and I've been really wanting to get back out and run it. A lot of you guys have been asking for more content. You guys have been asking, you know, kind of for a review. However, I got up charged the batteries got everything ready to go and then I walked outside and noticed that we're kind of now in the middle of a snowstorm there's a wicked wind going on so I have no idea how this footage today is going to turn out I'm telling you guys right now hopefully it's good but again there's not a serious cold going on there's not a massive like wind chill it's just very windy a lot of blowing snow so I don't know how the lens is going to be but anyways guys let's get to running this Baja Ray 2.0 guys my guess is that right now you probably can't hear me hopefully you can if you can't well I'll do some voiceover when I get home <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you can hear me right now because this thing is just a blast to drive. You know, I feel like, you know, when it comes to RCs, there's ones that we buy that are really, really good at, you know, doing, let's say, one or two things. So you'll buy the one that's like an amazing basher, meaning you can jump it really high, it can take a lot of abuse. You'll buy ones that are super fast. Then you'll buy ones that are also really, really big and are just cool to drive because they're big. This truck falls into almost all those categories, except for, I would say, let's say the first one, the big fast, the big jump, but it's such an enjoyable truck to drive. Whoa, there we go. Uh, that you just, you want to get out and drive this truck a lot. I've been working on something else the last few weeks, so I haven't driven it and I've really missed it. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh. Seriously, this truck is so much fun to drive. And I mean, I'm not even doing anything crazy now. I'm just ripping around the park a lot. And it's just, it's fun to drive. It's got pretty good adequate power. So you're, you know, it could, yeah, it could have a little bit more, but it's still a lot of fun just to drive it the way it is. And you know what? I don't see myself changing anything out anytime soon. Yeah, we can. Yeah, guys, if you're wondering about that, we're gonna hit that today. I think it's just gonna end me in a big pile of snow or end me up in a big pile of snow, but who cares? <laughs> yeah! All right, let's see what this is. Eh, why not? All right, let's see if we can get it back up here. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. We're 
gonna try that again. Alright, so guys, that's probably not a great idea because when it lands, it's really caking of snow. This thing weighs a ton right now. I wonder if we can do any smaller ones. Let's see if I can get some snow out of it. She's close. Again guys, this thing is just packed with snow right now. Also, if you guys haven't noticed yet, I rebound the truck back to the stock DX3. I did that because I didn't really want to be out here in the snow. You know, I've been seeing somebody lately on uh, Instagram and he's been running the 3.8 Proline, oh geez, uh, DuMonts, I think they're called. And you know what? Maybe it's about time I pick up another set of paddles because he's running them with this truck and this body and he seems to be doing a pretty good job with it. So I might, uh, you know what? We're still at the beginning of January. We've got a lot of winter left. Maybe I should be looking into a set of those. You guys think should we try that again?
There we go. Oh, come on. That was so close. Guys, the one thing about driving in this kind of weather, one thing about driving this truck where the tires are always spinning and you seem to be always giving her, is that your LVC, well, it kicks in sooner than you're used to. Just because of the fact that the batteries are being worked so hard trying to keep up with what you're doing that, yeah, eventually they wear down and that's it, that's all. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get home, we're gonna get this truck on the bench and we're gonna talk about it. All right, guys, so there it is. That is what it's like to come home after running this truck in the snow. It's probably about two hours later. So from the initial taking the truck apart, pulling the wheels and tires off, removing everything, removing the body, removing the little dudes in here, getting the truck in the heater or in front of the heater, drying it off, put, moving it around, drying it off, working on the video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, probably about two hours later. As you can see, though, it's all dried off now. The wheels and tires are back on. But I do have to, well, I shouldn't say I have to. I'm going to replace this ESC with another one. One of the first runs I'd ever done of this truck, I had broke all four tabs off the ESC. And sort of my fault, I was doing some hardcore jumps and I often, guys, and I didn't do it with this truck for some reason, I will often pull the four screws, or however many screws it is at the time, pull those off and I lay like a strip of Velcro underneath the ESC and then I'll grab, you know, slightly longer screws and screw the ESC back down. That way the ESC is sort of sitting on kind of a cushion, which just helps it out and obviously will end up saving your mount points. I do need this ESC in another vehicle and I would have actually had to remove the tabs off that one anyway. So it's kind of working out if you want to call it that. But anyways, guys, Super Baja Ray 2.0. I am going to be doing a review on this truck, a more formal kind of review on this truck, but I am going to leave it, this video guys, with this. Truck is awesome. I often go with vehicles, and if you guys have been a subscriber in this channel, you know I go through a lot of cars and trucks on this channel. Ones I like, I keep. Ones that I don't enjoy, I get rid of. And sometimes I get vehicles that I don't like right away, but you know, you spend some money on them and you get them up to par and then you start to enjoy them. This vehicle is none of that. This vehicle, right out of the box, bone stock, has been an absolute blast and an utter enjoyment to drive. Every time I get out with it, I it has puts a smile on my face. I don't know if it's the body. I don't know if it's the color of the body. I don't know if it's the size, the lights, the power, everything about it. But this truck is an absolute blast to drive. And if you're on, if you if you're out there thinking to yourself, hey, do I want to buy this truck? Because yeah, it is a couple of boxes, it's a little bit more than some of the other trucks. If you're not looking at buying this truck as your only basher, then I strongly recommend this truck. If you're a guy who has, let's say, a whole bunch of crawlers or on-road cars, and you're looking to get into a truck that you're going to do high flying jumps with and all that kind of stuff, I wouldn't say this is the truck to get. I'm not saying it can't do high flying. I'm not saying it can't do big jumps, but let's face it, a more eight scale. Crate and EXB, something like that would obviously be better suited for that type of, of running. However, if you've got one of those 
and you are looking for a second truck, something that's just an absolute blast to drive that will put a smile on your face, this is the truck. But anyways, guys, there you have it. As always, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Maybe even hit that little notifications bell and enjoy the picture.